Hi, my name is Paul Bowen, Principal Security Technologist with Arbor. The other day you potentially viewed a short video on Arbor Spectrum. Spectrum is Arbor's advanced threat hunting tool, and today I'd like to take you through a little more involved demonstration of the capabilities that Spectrum has. And we'll begin with the, again, as in the last demonstration, just the indicator summary page. In Spectrum, we have three primary sources of intel. We have ET Pro, which is our commodity data. We have ACET or AIF data, which comes from Atlas. And again, we see about 140 terabits per second of internet traffic globally at Arbor with our DDoS solutions. And our customers, the tier one providers, anonymously give us a large amount of that data so we can build the Atlas feed. And finally, we have our custom indicators widget here on the bottom right, which allows us to take in sticks feeds and also custom snort signatures. So these three data feeds are correlated automatically against your packet and flow data to create these indicators of compromise on the indicator summary page. We'll begin today by doing an investigation and we'll start with PlugX. And when you click on PlugX, it opens up so that your tier one analyst doesn't have to do a lot of research. If they don't know what PlugX is, we tell them that it's a rat that's been used in advanced campaigns. Because this is Atlas data, it's only going to be campaign-based attacks. It's been around since 2008. We tell them how it's spread throughout your network, and we also tell them, I mean, how it behaves on your network. With this severity of high and the confidence of 9.9, .9, it means we're 99% sure in the last 24 hours, this IP address was a, bit, a known compromised bad host, this server, is sending C2 data, and this client has spoken to that server and picked up the PlugX Trojan. So the delivery of the malware is what we're covering here, and the idea is that we're 99% sure that this server, this PC is talking to this server and picked up malware. So we're gonna need a case or an investigation. So I'm gonna say I wanna do a new investigation, and we'll say malware-rat, and we'll say PlugX delivery. So it's very simple, we say add, and now we've added a clue to our investigation. At this point, I could download the PCAP, but I'm gonna wait till we get a little further in the investigation when it makes more sense. And I'm gonna say other actions, that's what this arrow is. I'm gonna launch our hunting page, and I'm gonna launch our host dossier. The reason I launch it for the client is because we don't have probes picking up packet and flow data in the, in the offending network, and the connections tab will make more sense to see later. These are the five modules which make up Spectrum. We have our indicators page, our hunting page, our host dossier which visualizes both packet and flow data and also normal network traffic. And the same goes for our connections page. One visualizes it graphically, the other in an Excel-like format. And finally, our investigations module. So there are five primary modules in Spectrum. We have three Intel feeds coming in and we, up to two different data feeds coming in. So we have a very comprehensive view of your network without deploying any agents on it. Let's go now to the hunting page. As you can see, I'm just looking at one minute of data. I'm gonna hit the fit to screen and now we'll go to three minutes of data. And we went from half a billion packets to 23 billion packets. We went from one indicator to two. And the reason is Spectrum seamlessly transitions the elements that you're investigating. What do I mean by that? The client and the server become the source and the destination automatically in the filter. Now I can remove elements from the filter. I can add elements to the filter. It's 100% graphic in nature. I can reverse the direction of the filter so that the inbound becomes the outbound. But on the hunting page, we only see indicators of compromise so we won't see any regular network traffic here. And you'll see that we were only investigating PlugX, but we also got a second indicator of compromise. I can look at it by source, destination indicators, or geolocation. But I'm gonna zip up the filter for now, and I'm gonna focus in on that indicator of compromise little tower. And now I went from three weeks to two days in real time. I'm on a VPN over a wireless network to a building a couple of states away, to a system a couple of states away. And the idea is that you can see how quickly I was able to rearrange the data, which is what we call hunting at the speed of thought. Again, I can look at the summaries by source and destination, but I'm gonna start with indicators. And we see that 
The first indicator was PlugX from Atlas or AIF, but the second indicator came from ET Pro. So we are now looking at two different indicators of compromise from two different threat feeds on the same systems. So let's begin our analysis. And in the analysis, we give you the first 10 conversations, and we give you the first 1,000 bytes of each of those conversations, and you can drill in as deep as you like and see exactly what's going on. Or if that's not enough data, you could download a PCAP and then pop open that PCAP in Wireshark. So we give you two very effective ways to examine the data. Many of our customers find that just the data involved on this screen in the hunting module is enough for them to pivot to other systems, add other systems to the investigation, however they need to go through the data. But now that we've pretty much confirmed that there's two different exploits running on the same machine, going to the same machine, let's visualize this data in a graphic format by going to our host dossier. Keep in mind, I'm looking only at a few days worth of data here, so I'm going to scope it out to 28 days. And now we see in the last 28 days, there were five different indicators of compromise on this system. I could put in any system I want here. So if an executive has been traveling and their PC is misbehaving, you could see all their traffic for the last month. Because again, when you get to the bottom, it's not just indicators of compromise, it's all their traffic. And the idea here is to make it again easy for your tier one analyst to triage better. So we can see now that we have PlugX running, we have VSFTPD, and an ID check returned root. So with this three pieces of information, I might say that the machine was popped, it now has an FTP server, and it allows root access through FTP. So basically, I can do anything I want with this machine, send any data out that I want. So that's scary enough. But we come down here and we see that we're also talking to someone else on our same subnet, and that's even scarier. So let's see what happened there. And here's where Spectrum allows you to pivot through the data very quickly. I'm just going to select that IP address and say change my focus. And what that does is it shows me all the traffic now for this machine for the last month. So I was able to switch from one machine to another and get a month's report in a couple of seconds. And what's going on here? Well, inbound we got one mega data and outbound we got one gig of data. We can scroll up here and see that the outbound data used VSFTPD, great. So we sent a gigabyte of data out. And where did we send it? We sent it to China. Fantastic. We now know that we had a one megabyte download, one meg inbound, one gig outbound. So with a command, we were able to tell this system to send us out a gig of data. Is it critical data? Probably. But the idea is that even if we cleaned up the first compromised system, this one is still going to send out data. So now that we've visualized that data, let's confirm that that's really what happened. And we'll do that by going to the connections page, say open it in a new tab. And while it's doing that, I'm just going to add this to my investigation. Anywhere you see a fingerprint, you can add it to your investigation. Add. And then I'm going to go to the connections page, and you'll see again, the elements that I was interested in are seamlessly carried forward in my investigation. And I'm going to say that I want to just search the last seven days worth of data and tell the system to search. So now it's going to show me in under a minute it's going to run this search. And it's going to run this search and show me all the data that those two systems exchanged in the last seven days. But at the same time, it's also running a search for 14.78, the system we were worried about, to any address for the last month. This search is going to take less than two minutes. And this search is going to take less than a minute. And when they're done, I'm going to add them both to my investigation. And then we'll wrap up by going to the investigations page and seeing exactly what's going on in the system. So we're just waiting for this to finish. It's 95% done. It'll be done. And now it's done. And we can view this, and the other investigation will just keep running. And we can see that at 528, we sent out 500 megs. And at 532, we sent out almost 700 megs. So yes, that gigabyte of data was accurate. It went out, it went to the country of concern, and it went in the time frame. So we have now confirmed. So we did what I like to say hunted, visualized, and confirmed that that data exfiltrated from our network. So we're in multiple stages of the kill chain that, we, that Spectrum can be helpful. We saw the delivery. We saw the lateral movement on the same subnet. And now we've seen the exfiltration of data. 
So the final thing that I want to do, I want to add this to my investigation. And I want to add this other search to my investigation after I show it to you. And it's 92% done, 96 be done in a minute. I mean, in a couple seconds, actually. And now it's done. Spectrum also allows you to download this as a CSV. And when you download it as a CSV, first of all, you'll see that we got a 600 line report in under two minutes. And if this had been a web inject attack, we'd have the URLs, the request, the response, and the DNS name of the system. Plus, you get to see the con collector from Spectrum that brought that data into the system. You can have five flow collectors and five packet collectors on your network talking to this one console that we're using. And the idea is Spectrum gives you a lot of data and identifies it very quickly. So now I'm not going to save this. So now that we've looked at the two different ways the co connections page gives us data, let's look at the final page, which is investigations. And I like to open them all in new links so that I can roll back and forth between them as part of my investigation. On the investigations page, I like to tell our customers to create investigations for a rat, a port scan, a drive-by, whatever they feel they see most often, so that when a tier one analyst goes in and clicks on that, before he escalates what he thinks is his investigation, he can see what his more experienced peers have done and what information they gathered as part of their investigation. And here you can see Back here when we said the plug X delivery, it's right here. So he knows to go to the indicators page and add this as a clue just by clicking on the fingerprint. He knows to add the host dossier as a clue. He knows to add the connections page as a clue. So if you go through and give them this information, they know exactly what to add. And you can add notes here because I didn't add notes when I collected the clues. But here, connections using any service. And this is the, the entire connection search for that one box. So the idea is it's very simple for you to build a few example cases so you're not getting called every single time something comes up or when you do get called, the relevant information has already been gathered. I thank you for your time today. My name is Paul Bowen, pbowen at arbor.net. We'd be happy to come in and do a live demonstration of Spectrum for you or do a WebEx demonstration. Have a good day.